Hello creatives, welcome to another After Effects tutorial by Simplified Arena in today's class. I'm going to be teaching you how to animate text using the range selector in After Effects. So we will create our composition. Okay, I think that is good. Then I will bring in our text and I will type After Effects class. I will hold the control key and double click on the pan behind you to set the anchor point of our text to the center. And on our align panel here, I will align to the horizontal and vertical centers and our text color should be white then the next thing i'm going to do i'll expand our text properties on the timeline hit on this play button beside animate then i will bring up the position properties now bringing up the position properties now we have something called the range selector so if we expand it we will see the start the end and the offset and then it has advanced options these advanced options we have the units the base on the mode the smoothness is high is low and then random order when we bring up our range selector, this our text it has an initial position on our compositor. If we change the range selector position of our text, let's move it uh, vertically down like this. We have not actually changed the position of our text. What we have done is we have changed the position on the range selector. Come to this range selector property here where we have start end. We can bring back our text to its original position. We have the start options. This start options can just tell the text to start coming up from the start up to the end this end option here will tell the text to start coming up to its original position from the end and then let me just set this end back to 100 this offset the positive values allow our text to come up from the start to move from the range selector uh, from the position we set on the range selector to the initial position from the start and the negative values our text move up from the end I will set back our offset to zero. So the offset is just a combination of the start and the end. So I will set the start keyframe there. I will move 10 frames to the right. Control plus shift right arrow key. Let's just move 30 frames to the right. And then I will set the end to 100. Let's play and see. Good. Select those keyframes F9 for easy. Let's play again and see. I think that looks good. So we have explained this range selector options here. Let's look at this advanced option. So we have the units. These units are based on percentage or index. This based on is just we want our text to move up based on what? Do we want it to move up based on the characters as what we have now as the default? Or characters excluding spaces or words? Let's select words and see. So now words move up. So our text moves up in block of words. Let's select lines. Now our text moves up by line. Let's just uh, select back character. Then we have the amount here. The amount is set to 100 by default. This 100% here is the value of this position here that we set. If we decrease our amount to zero, this zero here will be our initial position. There will be no movement of text because it is on our initial position. An amount of minus 100 and our text will move down instead. So that is just what this amount is. So. I'll set it back to 100 and then the shape we can choose ram up ram down triangle and so on this is just the shape of of this movement let us just change the shape and see the shape now is square let's look at ram up so ram up it gives you this ram up effect let's look at ram down it's just the inverse of ram up triangle so the text will move up in a triangular manner round let's see the text will move up in a circular manner and smooth let's see the text will move up with a smoothness but let's uh, select ram up then the next important thing here is we have randomized order the first uh, letter of our text to move up is a here and the last to move up is this s so this randomize will actually, if we set it on, the letters will move up rand at random. So I'll set it back to off. And then now, let's see what we have. So that's just, uh, those are just the parameters explained. Let me expand our animator again. And then I can add other properties. So this was the position we could add other properties. And note that if we were to come to this uh, range selector we click on this app this app beside animator one 
we go to properties and we add maybe opacity we set the initial opacity to zero this opacity will actually work based on these properties we have already set here but if we were to add another range selector from here let's say rotation this time we will have an animator tool and this animator tool will demand that we actually configure it again so i'll delete that so that is just all about the range selector and after effects thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our